English inversion, turning conditionals upside down. Hello, language learners. Today we're going to dive deep into the realm of English grammar and explore something really fascinating, inversion in first conditional sentences. Inversion can be tricky but it's also very rewarding as it can make your English sound more sophisticated. So, let's get started. Before we move on to inversion, let's make sure we're on the same page about what first conditional sentences are. These are sentences that discuss real and possible situations. They're made up of two parts, a condition, if clause, and a result. Here's an example. If it rains, we will stay at home. In this sentence, if it rains is the condition and we will stay at home is the result. Now, let's introduce the concept of inversion. In English, we usually follow the subject verb order. But sometimes, to sound more formal, emphatic, or just for the sake of variety, we invert this order, putting the auxiliary verb before the subject. This is what we call inversion. Here are some examples of inverted first conditional sentences. 1. Should it rain, we will stay at home. 2. Here, we use should at the beginning of the sentence instead of if it should run. 3. Were I you, I would study more for the test. 4. This sentence uses were instead of if I were. Remember, these sentences sound more formal and are often used in written English or formal speech. Now it's your turn to practice. Try to transform the following sentences using inversion. 1. If she arrives early, we can start the meeting. 2. If I were a millionaire, I would travel the world. 3. If you should see him, please give him this message. Pause for viewers to think and attempt the exercises. And here are the answers. 1. Should she arrive early? we can start the meeting. 2. Were I a millionaire, I would travel the world. 3. Should you see him, please give him this message. And that's it for today's lesson on inversion in first conditional sentences. Keep practicing, as it can really add a touch of sophistication to your English. We hope this lesson has helped clarify this advanced grammatical concept. Thanks for watching, and keep up the good work in your English learning journey.